Hope you've had a wonderful week. What a great way to finish it. On the lounge or in your local. Enjoying the best of big time boxing. We're going to kick it off with the heavyweight. Scott Lewis and Shane Tilliard. Ten years separates the two. Tilliard with the advantage there. And if you look at the height, the weight and the reach, the advantage is also in favour of Scott Lewis. Just the one fight between the pair and it was Lewis. A victory in March of this year. Down at Roosby. And quite often Paul up as I walk him in for the first time tonight. When you do get two heavyweights and you do get two inexperienced heavyweights, add to that a right-hander and a left-hander. It could be a little bit ugly. It may not be textbook, but it's normally pretty interesting. Well, it's a heavyweight fight. Anything goes. And uh, these two guys are getting the opportunity on Fox Sports. They're going to really enjoy that. They're going to want to come out and, and make a good uh, impression on television. And uh, yeah, anything goes. And as we always say in boxing, Andy, you don't have to have big name fighters to have a great fight. This can be explosive. So true, that's Scotty Lewis, the animal, out of the red corner. Really, do you see a heavyweight dwarf by his cornerman? That's a case here tonight. Trained out of the Southern Cross Boxing Facility in Campbelltown. This is Big Shane Tilliard. Trained by Robert Gear. Now it's Tony Nobbs, the walking encyclopedia in his corner tonight. And for the first time this evening, we go centre ring, and it's a good evening to Rick Powell. Thank you, Andy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the National Convention Centre here in the heart of the nation's capital on this Anzac Eve, and welcome to a war of a different kind tonight taking place in centre ring. Our first bout of the evening is a heavyweight contest which has been scheduled for four by three minute rounds. Introducing now by way of the red corner, calling the city of Campbelltown his home, wearing the black shorts with the white piping. He boxes out of the Southern Cross Boxing Club in Campbelltown. Terry Devlin is his trainer. He has tipped the scales tonight at 105 kilos with just one fight to date recording one loss. Would you please make welcome to the ring, Scott the Animal Lewis. Ladies and gentlemen, let's now take you to the blue corner and uh, a resident of the Gap in Brisbane. He's a fruiter by occupation. He fights out of the corporate box gym and is trained by Rob Laguerre, weighing in tonight at 100.3 kilograms and making his professional debut with us this evening. Would you please make welcome Shane the Killer Tilliard. <laughs> Your referee for this opening bout tonight will be Les Fear, judges ringside Charlie Lucas, Kevin Hogan, and Bernie McMahon. Yeah, just arrived. Oh, I'm good luck to both of you. Touch gloves. Here we go, a little Les Fear in between uh, the two giants in our opener. 205 kilos, representing red and blue. This is Scott Lewis in the black and white. That's him on camera at the moment. Shane Tilliard making his debut and doing so in a difficult and different environment. More times than not, you see a boxer on debut in his hometown. Well, Tilliard's actually coming in off a kickboxing career. He had three fights and, I believe, three knockout wins. So, interesting to see how he changed over to the, the boxing different stance. It was a nice little straight left from Lewis to open the fight. And it flush. Tilliard with the right hand. He caught Lewis too, who's retreated back to the neutral corner. Mightn't be a great deal of science in what you're about to see, but it will be as willing as it gets. The right-handed boxer here is Tilliard. Lefty is Lewis. It's probably the easiest way to identify the pair. Tilliard to his back to camera at the moment. Tattoos on the arm. Oh, Lewis with a big swiping left hand. Looked for the home run early. There's a lot of weight and power behind both of their punches. Only four rounds, though, so not much time to 
to win the fight if it's going to win it on points. But, no, but four three-minute rounds, which is uh, difficult in itself as a heavyweight on debut. Oh, oh and Lewis tagged. It was a good right hand. I think he's out, Andy. From Shane Tilliard. Oh, that's it, mate. That's it. Enough. We've been called early. And Shane Tilliard on debut. A first round knockout. What a punch. That was flush. I think Lewis did well just to regain his feet. Get another look at that. Send a little tremor down to Tugranong, that one. Both guys were throwing for big bombs in round number one. It's human nature to attempt so when you are inexperienced. So often you do hear the term, don't load up, relax and be more fluent. You know, it's an art. You see Lewis got caught with his hands down, the chin was exposed and Hilliard landed, Hilliard landed flush. Good knockout. Good knockout for anyone but Scotty Lewis. Let's go to Rick Powell. Ladies and gentlemen, we get our referee to bring our two fighters into centre ring. Ladies and gentlemen, in one minute and 38 seconds of round number one, your winner on professional debut tonight, Shane the Killer Detilliard. He'll get better as he goes. In fact, the that applies to both young guys, heavyweights in front of the crowd here and on national TV, underneath the bright lights, if you like. Let's take a look at the rankings as they stand at the moment. And their heavyweight champion is John Hopawadi, who late May is headed over with Dave Milward and the crew to face Oliver McCall in the United States. Alex Leopine, Nathan Briggs, Solomon Hamono. Big Bobby Mirovic, Peter Kronje, and Colin Wilson. And considering some of the results we have seen over the last couple of months, really quite interchangeable, Paul, the, the rankings in the heavyweights at the moment. Um, some great fights there. Well, there's some big names in there, and you mentioned Bob Mirovic, even though some people thought that Bob's going away after the loss to Hopawati. He's, he's still in there. He wants a rematch, but John Hopawati, what an opportunity to go yeah. to Las Vegas and fight Oliver McCall, the former heavyweight champion, the man who knocked Lennox Lewis out. Yeah. But there's some real talent there as, as far as uh, being even matched, and I just want to see them fight.